Hi, I'm Tristan Beck, pitcher for the San Francisco Giants, and you're watching Bay Area Sports Wrap. Shoot. Uh, considering how the offense has been going, uh, what do you think about how you guys were able to capitalize on the opportunity that you got? Yeah, I mean, similar to opening day here, too. So our offense is going to come around. But if we can do the little things right and create this kind of identity and win these type of games, I think we'll be tougher for it. Um, you know, across the board, really, nobody's swinging great. Um, you know, Webby's up against it, not getting any support. You know, gets out of the jam in the seventh, and then you know, obviously, Flo's hit was was key, and and uh, Fitzy going first to third. What are the positive signs that give you belief in the offense, and just kind of what have you been seeing in, in the track offense? records? They'll, they'll come around, and it really, if you look at it, there's link to our lineup too. Um, you know, all the way down, so it's going to come around. And how about just the emotions on on the ground ball to first there with Solaire going going to second? What was that play like? Yeah, it's a big boy. I mean, it's it's not doesn't not the greatest feeling in the world. You know, Crony makes a, a smart play and tags first, going to second base, and you know sometimes you need a little luck too and a big base runner. Um, early on here, but can you just talk about the impact that Matt Chapman's making with his bat in this lineup, just game to game? Yeah, you know he's really not hitting his stride yet but he's he's finding a way to make contact with guys on third and less than two out and he's finding a way to get a big hit with the whole right side open there he wasn't trying to do too much you know just try to shoot a ball the other way and um he's pretty good in big situations um like 10 hits logan gave up today but it seemed like every time he needed a ground ball he got it what right. did you sort of see especially coming off a, a rough one for exactly him? that and a lot of the hits were either a couple hit hard but not many you know some grounders and you know it was kind of a hard decision to leave him in there but i really did need a grounder and got one out of bogarts we thought we had a double play and then i, I wasn't going to take him out after that uh Tatis, if he gave up a hit he gave up a hit but um you know ends up not perfect, but given a, a, enough to win a game, and you know only having to use two guys in the bullpen again today. Wilmer Flores um, hasn't been, you know, has been platooning with Wade, but he did get a big hit off a right-handed uh, pitcher. Um, is there a chance that he will see more starts going forward? Well, he did early, you know, and, and it's really, it's really hard not to have him in the game. The one thing you do know is that you're going to have a spot in the game where he can come up and impact, and, and left right doesn't matter to him. So when they make the move, it really doesn't matter. It's you know it's Wilmer Flores. So yeah, if we get a line of righties in a row, yeah, I got to get him in there and keep him fresh. But you know what? You talk about your team guys. So you know he's he's instrumental in getting Solaire coming over here, knowing that a lot of his bats are going to go away. Right? Chapman comes over, and now a lot of his bats are going to go away there too. You know, so now it looks like just a platoon at first, but he means more to us than that. And any time you get a chance to get him in a game in a big spot, we're going to do it. Uh, Bob, you're familiar with Matt Waldron. How much of a challenge is he to face because he throws a knuckleball in addition to all the other pitches? Yeah, you know, I was expecting to see probably more knuckleballs today. Um, and I think kind of surprising us with, with some of the hard stuff and then a lot of the 2-0 sweeper strike stuff. So I think our, our game plan was was looking more for knuckleballs, and he was surprising us some. Um, but that's what's going to make him good is is you know the indecision of are you going after hard stuff or you're going or you have to sit back and wait for a knuckleball. He pitched well. The uh, decision to pinch run Fitzgerald ended up being pretty important. There, you didn't uh, use a pinch runner for Chapman on in the home opener. What was the? Well, Chapman runs better flow. Okay. Yeah. Back to Flores for a second. Um, on the bench until the eighth inning, comes in, gets the big single, starts the rally, and immediately gets pinch a ran for. How valuable is it? I know you already talked about it, instrumental in some of the offseason moves, but how valuable is it to have a guy like that coming off the bench? With Fitzgerald, you mean, or Flo? A Flores. It's huge. You know, he, he's got a real slow heartbeat. Um, and, and no big situation bothers him. As a matter of fact, I've had plenty of instances on the other side where I'm going, please don't bring this guy in the game. He's on the bench. So... And then Fitzy, you know, he's got to make a read and go first to third. That was huge too. And being ha having, you know, being able to have a really plus runner on the bench that helps too, and it helped today. 
Uh, and the first thing, there's that ball off the wall that Lee looks like, from our vantage point at least, looked like he just missed it. What did you see on, on that play? At the top of was? the wall, he's going full speed. If he makes that catch, it's going to be a, probably the highlight of the day. Uh, that's a tough one. Hi, Tim Roy, the voice of the Golden State Warriors for Bay Area Sports Wrap. Please give a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.